Thing yet. Okay, so you have a large handle. Does this feel good in your hands? Yes. Okay, feels good. That's all I care about. Yeah, and it's the curved. Good. Yeah, we're beautiful. Good. All right. And I do keep my knife in the sleeve. Oh, right? yes. It will, not, yes. it will not rust on you. Now, be careful when you're, and I just got a new block from my mom, too. Um, careful when you're uh, sharpening this. Now, you shouldn't have to sharpen it all that often. Okay. You don't make anywhere near the reads I do. But you have to sharpen it on the bevel side like this. And then you have to almost angle it off the curved side because this back is curved. It's not a flat back. So if you go and you do something like that, you're going to end up with a double double blade. Okay. Don't want to do that. That's bad. All right. So just like this. And then like this. Eventually, you're going to find a sweet spot on the knife. Mine is usually about right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. You start making a billion reads, and your knife is going to divot in there, and that's when it's time to get a new knife. That's why I don't have you guys buy expensive knives. The only thing that's more expensive on the expensive knives are the handles. Mm. That's it. This is Butcher Block. It's their cheap handle. I actually bought an expensive one one time that was supposed to be ergomatic and, you know, make my hand just feel wonderful. Mm. The knife wore out at the same time, and I spent all this money on this stupid handle. So I, I, I've gone back to the, again, it's the frugal part in me. Not cheap, but frugal. All right, so I think we've got all the stuff. Are you ready to rock and roll? Yes. All right, very good. I will give you that. 